So today we're converting fractions that are greater than 1 to a mixed number by decomposing fractions. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have 10 thirds, and I know that this is a fraction that is greater than 1 because my numerator is larger than my denominators. So before I can decompose this fraction, I have to identify my unit fraction, which is one-third or third. So that lets me know that I need to partition each tape diagram into thirds. So this will give me three-thirds. Now, when de using decomposing to convert to a mixed number, we're going to use the operation subtraction because in this we're actually pulling out all of the whole numbers. So I've taken out one, one group of three-thirds, so I'm going to subtract that from the 10 thirds. So 10 thirds minus 3 thirds equals 7 thirds. So then I look at my fraction that I have now and ask myself, is it still an improper fraction? And the answer is yes. And I know that it's an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So that means, tells me that I still have some whole numbers to remove. So I'm going to partition my second tape diagram and take, that's another three-thirds. So I'm going to subtract 7 thirds minus 3 thirds is going to give me 4 thirds. So now I have to stop and think again. Is this still an improper fraction? And the answer is yes, because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So that lets me know that I need to continue to decompose. So I'm going to take out another three-thirds. So one-third, one-third, one-third. And I'm going to subtract that up here. Four-thirds minus three-thirds is one-third. Now, I've come to the end. Now I have a unit fraction or a proper fraction, and I have to ask myself this thinking question, are there any more whole numbers? No, there's not any more whole numbers because I know that a fraction that is greater than one, one whole, has a numerator that is larger than the denominator, and that's not the case here. So I'm going to go back and box in all of my three-thirds and rename them as one whole. And this is going to let me know what the whole number is in my mixed number. So one plus one plus one plus one equals three, and I have one-third left over. So 10 thirds is equivalent to 3 and 1 third. 